Hey, what's up, guys? David Glenn of DavidGlennRecording.com and TheProAudioFiles.com. Today, we're going to kick off a brand new four-part series on how to mix an acoustic singer-songwriter track. This song has got an acoustic guitar that's picked, it's got an acoustic guitar that's strummed, and then we've got a lead vocal, and that's it. So we're going to get this cleaned up, get it sounding good, and uh, ready for marketing. We're going to use this to give it away, kind of develop a fan base. So the song is called Chosen. It's by one of my best friends, Jarris Cole. We're in the process of recording his debut EP right now, and I kind of pulled these in from the radio version we're working on so we can have some acoustics and a vocal to work with. Uh, I'm going to hit play, and then we'll go through uh, video one. We're going to cover the acoustic. Video two, I'm going to cover the lead vocal. Video three, I'm going to show you the EQ technique. I'm using an, a mid-side technique for uh, sweetening up the acoustic. And then in the fourth video, we'll go over the stereo bus and how I'm treating that with uh, multiple plugins to kind of get that ready. It's it's uh, a mastered sound. Once it's done, it leaves here, uh, can be released. So hit play. We'll dive right in. Keep it in your soul. cool so keeping it simple you'll notice that I've got the lead vocal just kind of sitting at the forefront and then I just wanted the acoustics to, to, to support the lead vocal to give it some music and uh, to be foundational so um, that's kind of the mindset that I took in this and I'm not sure that I can play the song but the reference that I used was Matt Nathanson and the song is called Angel so if you want to go download that or check it out on Spotify uh, I encourage you to download it but uh, however you want to hear that song that's kind of the goal uh, for this of what I was what was wanting to go for. So this acoustic, if you'll notice, like I said, we pulled this from a, uh, a Pro Tool session for the radio version, but I've got multiple acoustic parts. These are all the picked parts, and we did it in sections for a reason, but um, those are going to a, an aux for ACS pick, and that goes to my all music. So all of these acoustic parts are routed through here, and the strumming part I handled differently. I treated it with different EQ and compression and that kind of stuff. So let's hear the picked acoustic. Let's actually bypass everything, show you a before and after, and kind of show you what I was thinking as I mix this. We tracked this with a 414 on a, an older Martin. I can't remember the model of it, but uh, stuck that in the, in the booth and tracked it. Let's see, through the UAD Apollo and no plugins to tape. So this is dry. <laughs> So it's dry. It's just a mic, maybe five or six inches off the guitar. I like to aim for that sweet spot just above the sound hole where you don't get so much of the boominess, but um, a little section. Uh, let's see. If this were an acoustic guitar, it would be the section right up in here. Kind of aim the mic right there. Uh, maybe show you guys show you guys a picture of that. But the sound one more time so we can A-B it. Cool. First step for me was to remove some of the low mid, some of the mud, and to make sure I didn't get any of the rumble or anything. Um, you can see right there, I'm pulling out a little bit, actually quite a bit, 9 dB at 163, 400, and what I did is I would just sweep through and try to hear. If you guys aren't familiar with the Fab Filter EQ, let me show you what this can do. So I can zone in on the frequencies that I want to remove, so I've done that with the low uh, mids and then let's play quickly the Studer love the UAD stuff and the Studer is Beautiful we've got the acoustic preset. It looks like I've just turned off the noise and dialed in the input Let's hear it before and after Okay, so it's really really subtle, but it's more of a character thing and uh, it just feels good to run it through the tape. So um, moving on, let's go to the Chris Lord Algae Acoustic, the CLA Acoustic plugin. 
I love what this is doing. This is going to be quite a bit of a volume difference here, but um, this is going to be to brighten it up and give it some some clarity before <laughs> and after. Right, so you can already tell it's much clearer. And then what I wanted, I lost a little bit of the bottom end in that, so I used the LA-2 to kind of add some oomph back to it. Let's before and after that. And then after. Yeah, cool. So I'm liking the vibe on the picked acoustic guitar. Uh, you'll see I've run that through the UAD EMT plate and uh, more so just to put that in a space. And then I put the vocal in the same exact space when we cover that in video two, but let's take a listen to that before and after. After. Pull that up a little bit. Put it back down. So it just kind of gives it a uh, gives it a sense of space, and this one I don't want to talk too much about this. I sometimes what I'll do is if I have a mono source and I want it to a little reflection off the right side or the left side, I have a, a, a slap delay on the left and a slap delay on the right set up at different times. And um, let's say I have a guitar on the left or kind of in the center, I may send it to the right slap delay and just bring it in a little bit to kind of feel it on that side, not hear it, but I just want to feel it. Um, and in this case, I'm not sure that I used too much of it, but let's demo that. Let's pull it all the way down, and then I'll pull it in. Exaggerate it. So it's out of time to kind of give it a feel, and then... So that's, I mean, super minimal. That's the, the picked acoustic guitar. Let's move on and show you real quick the strummed acoustic guitar. I wanted to mix that a little bit differently. Um, and you'll see, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's solo the acoustic there. Mute the vocal for this video. Cool, so nice and clear. And uh, for those of you guys using too many plugins, let me show you a quick little tip, little rabbit trail. We'll love them. Uh, I will sometimes take the aux tracks or the tracks themselves and scoop them up like this if you click and drag um, to try and limit my view of all the inserts. Whenever I have it set up like this, I like to see all 10 of the inserts, but uh, sometimes you can kind of trick yourself into using less plugins if you shrink it down. So um, that may help somebody. So let's go similar concept, maybe not walk through an AB of every single thing, but similar concept here. We've got the, the low mids coming down, the Studer once again with the acoustic, and if I'm not mistaken, I love the patchwork there. Went pretty much the same, except I didn't want quite as much top end because with the strumming, I felt like I got enough of that with, uh, with the way it was recorded. And it looks like we did not go with an LA-2. I used the new Universal Audio 610B and uh, I love the, the, the tone of that. Let's actually A-B that for those of you who haven't heard it. Here's the before. And then after. And then I'm gonna bypass it here. Cool. So in the track with the vocal, I liked what that was doing. I actually added that on the back end. And then you can see similarly, we're routing this strummed acoustic to the uh, EMT vocal plate again. And let's hear that without it. And with it. Pull it up. I didn't want to overdo the, the room sound on this for demo's sake, uh, just to kind of keep it somewhat dry, but still give it a feel. Um, 
And that's video one. There's the acoustic guitar. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me at david at davidglennrecording.com. Be sure to check out more at theproaudiofiles.com. And uh, don't, uh, you'll see video two coming up soon. We're going to go over the lead vocal on this song. Lots to cover. So we'll check you guys soon. Mm-hmm.